Hello, this is Ed Ferrari from Foundry with a cool Moto Quick Clip. The Edges to Curves mesh operation is a really nice addition to Moto's ever growing procedural modeling toolset. So let's see what it can do. I have my mesh item selected, and I'm going to make sure that I'm in Edges mode, and we're going to need to select some edges. Now I have a selection set that I'll use, so I'm going to come over to the Selection Sets button, and under Quick Select, I'll choose Edges. And that's the name of my selection set. So here are the edges that I've chosen for my selection set. And now we're going to navigate to the Mesh Operations tab, which is right next to the Items tab. Now, as many of you know, uh, the Mesh Operations tab is split into a top half and a bottom half. Uh, the top half is our traditional items list, and the bottom half is our procedural stack. So with these uh, edges, selected, I'm going to click on Add Operator, and I'm going to start typing Edges to Curves. And I've only typed Edges because that's all we need to type. Uh, Moto is kind of smart enough to filter out any of the mesh operations that are, aren't relevant to what we're actually uh, trying to achieve. So here's Edges to Curves. I'll just double click on that. And now we can see the Edges to Curves uh, mesh op in our procedural stack. And in the viewport, it's a little bit difficult to see, but let me actually switch to polygons mode by pressing 3. And then I'll select uh, the curve that we've just created. And in the bottom right-hand corner of the 3D viewport, you can see we have one polygon selected according to our viewport HUD. Now in the edges to curves properties, you can see that our curve type is set to polyline. If we click on that, we can change it to spline curve, or bezier curve, or b-spline curve. Uh, I'm really fond of b-spline curves, so I'll choose that. Uh, we can also change the curve mode uh, from single curve, which is what we have right now, uh, with one polygon. We can change that to curve per edge, uh, in which case uh, it will give us uh, a whole curve for each edge that we had selected. So I've just selected three, so we can see we have three polygons here. Uh, if we want to see all of them, I can just make sure I'm in polygons mode and double click my base mesh to select all the polygons that are part of the base mesh. And then I'll press the open square bracket to select the inverse. And here you can see we have all of our separate um, curves selected and there are 42 total. So that's not quite what we want. So uh, I'm just going to change that back to single curve. Now I'm going to uh, actually uh, make sure that my procedural mesh is selected, and then I'm going to make sure I'm in the base mesh. I have to make sure both of those are selected, and then I'll press Shift Tab to switch my uh, polygon mode from Catmull Clark to uh, standard faces mode. Now I'm going to select my uh, curve again, and because this is procedural, uh, I just want to kind of extract this curve, so I'll press Control C to copy it. I'll press N for a new mesh item, and then Control V to paste the curve into a new mesh item. And now if I press Control 1 to bring up my main pie menu, and I choose Toggle Verts, uh, we can see the vertices for our B-spline. And if I actually select this curve, uh, we can actually uh, get the B-spline tool to be enabled, and now we can actually uh, change the points on the B-spline. But that's not what we want to do either. I just really want to uh, show you how we get a point for every uh, kind of point on the source uh, geometry, which is really nice. So to wrap this up, I think I'm just going to uh, go over to the curve properties and toggle render curves on and uh, just fire off a preview render by, by pressing F8. so we can have a look at what our uh, curve would look like if it were thickened. And of course this is just a rendering trick, so it's not real geometry. But that was just a quick demonstration of the edges to curves mesh operation. I hope it's been helpful, and thanks for watching. Make sure to stay tuned to this channel for more Moto Quick Clips.